And if we zoom in on a particular part of this house, let's say we zoom in around here, then we would get, well, the window. And what we're saying here is that a window consists of some perfectly straight lines. Almost perfectly straight lines. But you know, a window doesn't need to look like that. A window could equally kind of look like this, and we would still say it was a window. The cool thing about CNN is that using filters, CNN could also say that these two objects represent the same thing. The way they do that then is through the application of these filters. So let's take a look at how that works. Now a filter is basically just a three by three block. And within that block, we can specify a pattern to look for. So we could say, let's look for a pattern like this, a right angle in our image. So what we do is we take this filter and it's a three by three block here. We will analyze the equivalent three by three block up here as well. So we'll look at, first of all, these first group of three by three pixels and we will see how close are they to the filter shape. And we'll give that a numeric score. Then we will move across one column to the right and look at the next three by three block of pixels and score how close they are to the filter shape. And we will continue to slide over or convolve over all of these pixel layers until we have mapped every three by three block. Now that's just for one filter, but what that will give us is an array of numbers that say how closely an image matches our filter. But we can add more filters. So we could add another three by three filter here, and perhaps this one looks for a shape like this. And we could add a third filter here, and perhaps this looks for a different kind of right angle shape. If we take the numeric arrays from all of these filters and combine them together in a process called pooling, then we have a much better understanding of what is contained within this series of pixels.